Welcome to Oxford, Mississippi. You are watching SEC opening weekends. Coming to you today from the Ole Miss Softball Complex, a series finale, one in which the 23rd ranked Bulldogs are looking to sweep in the circle today in a very important Sunday finale for this Ole Miss team is the veteran herself, Aaron. That's the Wardsville, Missouri native, mechanically thermos. One, two, she drills this one back near the wall, gone! It's a first inning blast today for Madison Kennedy. And Mississippi State out in front in the opening inning for a third straight day. You know, and that's, uh, that's something that has become a, a reputation, part of the identity of this Mississippi State program under Ricketts is they can, it's always nice when you have a lead before you step into the circle. That's the case for the fifth year senior from Temecula, California, Aaron, that's Montalasi Faapito. Plus nearly 300 at bats. Oh, missed outside, and so Ole Miss responds with a first inning run. It's a three walk first inning for the Rebels. Quite encouraging and a bit of momentum here if you're Ole Miss after being no hit yesterday. A first inning hit and run. Delaney Rummel first pitch swinging over to short. Edwards couldn't handle it, and another run comes home. East and west, you'll see her hammer low in the zone. You're going to see a change in pace of play here with this arm. Oh, she faces the heart of the order here with one out. Nadia Barbary bounces the first pitch over to short. Star retires St. Uh, St. Clair at third, but the run scores. Kennedy blasted one over the left field wall back in the first inning. And she lifts this one out to center. It's got some flight. Goodbye! It's a two-homer day and a three-homer series for Madison Kennedy. Five to two, Mississippi State. You don't have to have the long ball. It doesn't have to be hard and high in the air. Chip away. De Leon swings and finds the gap in right center. McKay scores. De Leon into second. Play at the plate. The ball gets away from the catcher. Two runs come in. That clock behind the plate has been integrated into the game this year. Doesn't matter though, the one, two, she hammers over the left field wall. She was ready on that one. Two run blast to tie it up. It only takes one pitch and that one was hers. Challenges the inside part of the zone, specifically against righties. She'll live on that side of the plate. You see she her comes go right inside back there. again in the inside out swing. Here comes the runner around third. Throw to the plate is late. Edwards swings, loops it into right. McKay makes the grab. The runner tags a throw just a little wide. During opening weekend of conference play, Nadia Barbary's turn. Swings and hacks this one out to center. There it goes. Bounces up against the fence. Here comes the runner. Hawkins around third. She scores. Flew out to right her last time up. Bounces it to the right side. That's past the diving De Leon. Here comes the runner around third. Throw to the plate is late. It's now 9-7 of the sixth. As we push into the, the late stages of this game, a sweep on the line today for the Bulldogs. Blaine gets underneath it, into right, a dive, and McKay hangs on for the final out. 388 hitter this year. She singled her last time up. Swing it at the first pitch, off of Marin's mitt. Can somebody get to it in time? Throw is late. It's the type of arm that she is. There's a 1-0 to Delaney Rummel. Lifts it out to right. Deep enough, perhaps, for Cook. She makes the catch. And the tying run scores. It's nine apiece in the bottom of the sixth inning. Effective portion of the order for Ole Miss today, trying to walk it off in the finale. Swing, and there's a high drive. She knows it. Brady does it again. It's a walk-off homer. 
to win it in the finale. Ooh.